If you need any evidence that smartphones have become the master device of everyone's digital life, this edition of CNET Top 5 is it. I'm Brian Cooley with the top five most popular products on CNET as of July 2010, and they're all phones. Number five, the Samsung Captivate. Yes, AT&T does offer something other than the iPhone. And this is their best Android offering, and you're fascinated by it. It has an amazing 4-inch AMOLED display, great call quality. Wait, great call quality on AT&T? Unfortunately, AT&T's been out drinking with Apple too many nights, and they've learned the over-control shtick, so no side-loading of apps on this guy. And for some reason, no flash for the camera. But you still think it's a great iPhone alternative in a world that often forgets there are such things. Number four, the Sprint Evo 4G. You know, the first 4G phone if 4G's turned on in your area. But you're still gonna pay a $10 4G surcharge, whether it is or not, and that irks us. This guy is also a mobile hotspot and has an almost too big 4.3 inch display. It also shoots HD video. And like your first bicycle, it has a kickstand. Number three, the Droid Incredible. A ballsy name, but luckily for Verizon, they don't end up looking stupid because the Incredible is, and you believe it. It's got a CNET editor's choice, so we're with you on this one. It has the Sense UI laid over Android 2.1, fast processor, and of course, Verizon's network is a big draw for a lot of people here. 8 megapixel camera, 3.7 inch screen, just right to keep things pocketable. But remember, this guy's Verizon, so no voice and data at the same time. You don't seem to care. Number two, there's the iPhone, iPhone 4. Almost as much a software story as a hardware thing, iOS is still the operating system to beat with scads of improvements now that it's in the fourth generation. The handset doesn't hurt either. A killer retina display. You love those dual cameras, HD video capture and editing. But there is that thing with the antenna and the network it connects to, which doesn't seem to bother you. Before we get to number one, the most popular product on CNET that isn't a smartphone? You make us scroll all the way down to number seven for the Canon PowerShot S90. A great compact camera for advanced amateurs. You know, those few folks left who don't take all their pictures with their phone. Okay, now it's time to reveal our number one, really your number one most popular product on CNET for July 2010. The one that told the iPhone 4 to go over there and take a seat and be quiet, please. It's the Droid X. Oh, it's a big boy with a 4.3 inch display, great multimedia, another one of those eight megapixel cameras, and it's on Verizon. But no front facing camera, and at least we wish it ran the Sense UI instead of Moto Blur. But you're all over it, and that's what we're here celebrating today. The diversity of our opinion versus yours. Well, those are the products that have you lying awake at night. Don't worry, I'll give the other CNET departments a pep talk and let you know you love them too. You do, right? I'm Brian Cooley. We'll see you next time for another Top 5.